All right. Today we have a very special person with us. He is the person behind Passion Makes No Borders, uh, and has become a Facebook phenomenon because of that. Uh, many Facebookers will would recognize him for his uh, tours around the world. Well, he is here today with us um, on a tour of Malaysia and Singapore to sample, you know, what these two beautiful countries have to offer. Um, so, without many much further ado, uh, I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Takatoshi Murase. Hello, I'm Taka <laughs> from Tokyo, Japan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Taka, let's um, let's roll with the questions. Who is Takatoshi Murase? Who is Takatoshi Murase? I think uh, Takatoshi Murase is who, who I am. What do you think? Uh? <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> it's hard to put into words. <laughs> <laughs> what, you, what got you started on this uh, Facebook page and all this whole Passion Makes No Borders wow, campaign? Wow. It's, a, it's a long story though. I mean, make, long story short. Uh, I started like get on Facebook uh, when I was in, in the States, when I was still going to uh, school. And I... Uh, Met my friends uh, in a lake, like fishing, and you know, he uh, came down and he says, "Hey, hey, where you from?" And you know, I'm from Japan, and we uh, started hanging out, hanging out, and fish, go fishing together. And he uh, introduced me on Facebook, and Taka, why don't you post your catch, uh, your catch to on Facebook, and you can, you know, share uh, your passion around the world, you know, through uh, Facebook, and I started. Posting and posting, posting and and since then, it's a, just people are just showing interest on, on my on what I do, and you know it's getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Okay. Why passion makes no borders? What does it mean to you? And why did you came up uh, come up with that phrase? Uh, the the word came up uh, very naturally though. It, it, uh, you, uh, it's, it was first time I came up with the word. It used to be uh, uh, fishing makes no borders, but then I we want to spread this message not only like people who fish, but people who who have the passion to to what they love. I want to send a message, you know. So I ch switched to uh, fishing to passion and passion makes no borders to you know to everyone. It it's goes to, to people's heart, you know, who have the passion towards what they love. So. <laughs> okay, when did you um, decide that you want to tour the world fishing? Well, that's the... Um, I think that after I came back from the States, finishing school and, you know, came back to Japan and I still, you know, on the Facebook and, you know, uh, sharing pictures and with the friends around the world and all of a sudden I, the wheel I want to go fish with them it's just growing bigger and bigger and all of a sudden I, I was like hey why, why we don't go fish together and can, can we can I visit you and go fish together and it's like the first country I visit was Hungary the Budapest there's a, there's a nice friends over there and it's like why not just come over I'll take you fishing and, and I made to, my, made it to uh, my my first trip. That wasn't tour though. It's just a trip, short trip. Because at the at the time I was working at uh, uh, the fishing company, so uh, there is no way to take like a big holiday. So so that's how how I started uh, traveling around the world. How successful do you think Facebook has been? Um, your page on Facebook. Uh, in meeting anglers and how are their reactions towards um, yourself and your page? To my page and to myself. To myself. I don't know to my page, but the, obviously the numbers. <laughs> I don't want to take it for numbers, but the numbers getting bigger for us. And but uh, to me, uh, to my uh, myself, is is it's been a, it's like a lesson to to my life. To be a better person, or you know, to to improve myself, you know, people, you know, li listen up to listening up to people and having a good time with the people is a, is, is like a good lesson to me. They teach me, uh, you know, really basic stuff like, uh, uh, you know, understanding the culture, even uh, how to love people. You know, it's it's not just about fishing. What I learned from this, what I do, so. 
it's been it's been great. Yeah, I've been learning a lot from them. So far, you've covered Malaysia. What? And this is your second time here. So, yes. what made you come back, and what made you include Malaysia in your tour? Um, the first time I visited Malaysia was two years ago, and it was a very very short stay. It was only three three days, two and a half days, and only exclusively focusing on fishing. So I didn't get to see anything other than green and water. <laughs> so I always wanted to come back, um, you know, while I am traveling around. Uh, other countries, so I can I made a decision this year. I have to make it back to Malaysia and do some tour, you know. And this time, I, yeah, including Singapore because next to each other. So uh, the, I think that the as a one of the Asian country, I always wanted to go. It's very uh, it's very different from other countries, you know. Even in Asia, it's he, culture here, people here is very different from. Uh, you know, my country, Japan, so I just wanted to experience the uh, exotic, <laughs> the, you know, experience, the people, everything. So for a trip like that, it's not only the fishing. Yeah. Um, what other aspects of the trip would you like to take home with you or would you like to experience? I think I, it, there is a, uh, you know, in the fishing industry, there is a fishing star, you know, and people want to be like that, you know, and travel around the world maybe. But I, I, I take it as a, like a different, I see it as a, like a different thing, you know, completely different thing. And, and I want to have a close, like a true friendship with the, with the people around the world who shares this uh, same passion. And... You, you know, I wanted to keep this for the rest of my life and keep in touch with the people and, you know, sharing what we love and, you know, oh wow, that's, that's hard to tell. That's very really hard to tell. So this is only your second full-length tour. Um, yeah, last second. year you did um, Europe. Europe. Yeah. This year it's Asia, Southeast yeah. Asia. Yeah. Uh, what is next for you? I don't know, since I, uh, you know, the Facebook thing, I always, uh, what I decide, what decides me, uh, the, the way to go is, is just the people, you know. It's not the species, I want to catch this, or this, uh, you know, whatever the people are, I, I get close. And, and, and getting in touch in, in the Facebook, I make a decision and, hey, let's go. <laughs> So I don't know. I don't know. I, I, it could be uh, could be everywhere, really. <laughs> Not many people of your age would sacrifice a career or a, a stable job to do what you do. Um, what made you do it? I think the the attitude of the of the people I'm interacting with is very mature and very sincere, honest. That makes me like moving forward and and realize that I can I, this is something that I can't just quit it's I can't do it and I just can't do it so I just keep doing it <laughs> so even if um, in 20 years you don't make any money from this or it gets you nowhere um, you will have no regrets uh, I would but I'm still not sure about my life the last you know next 20 years what's gonna happen I just let it be I guess you know it's kind of reckless Some, sounds reckless I know I know <laughs> but very risky too but that's uh, yeah you know I'm, that's how I think now it's just life you know anything could happen <laughs> we'll see Okay, so now we know a little bit more about the man himself, Mr. Takatoshi Murase. Yeah. Um, thanks, Taka, for spending time with us. Uh, Thank you so we much. We wish you all the best of luck for the rest of your Thank journey. Thank you. And uh, a lot more fishes to come. All right. <laughs> there we go. All right. Thanks.